Each week, we do a really cool segment uh, with Tom Tormey, who is in the chat right now. Uh, his handle is at Cosmic Comic History on Instagram. You all need to check it out because each, every day he, he dishes out some, some juicy comic book history on his Instagram. But each week with us, he gives us a, a, nice, a nice expanded version of these juicy nuggets of comic book related history. This week, he does not disappoint. Uh, we have Captain America. And did you know, we all knew that Captain America fought Nazis in World War II. But did you guys all know that he fought Nazis uh, before World War II? That's right. And Tom will explain on his Cosmic Minute uh, for this week. Check it out. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Torme from Cosmic Comic History, and this is your Cosmic Minute. Comic books have always reflected the society in which they were born into. Today, we're talking about how Joe Simon and Jack Kirby stood up to Adolf Hitler and the Third Reich. In his comic debut, Captain America is shown punching Adolf Hitler straight in the jaw. It's hard to believe, but this book, which came out in December of 1940, a full year before the attacks on Pearl Harbor, was a time when not everyone was sure that the Nazis were our enemy. America was in the grips of a Great Depression and a period of isolationism that had followed World War I. There were those who looked at Germany as a country on the rebound from the worst global economic depression in our history. Many in the Jewish community, however, were completely aware of Hitler's anti-Semitic rhetoric and actions. While pro-Nazi Americans gathered in large numbers in New York, a pair of Jewish writers and artists decided to take a stand. Joe Simon and Jack Kirby's Captain America No. 1 was a smash hit. Shortly after, the duo had threats and anti-Semitic remarks hurled at them. Upon hearing about the threats, New York Mayor LaGuardia personally promised protection to Jack Kirby and Joe Simon from the death threats. Fortunately, the duo were never physically harmed. When World War II began, the comic industry followed Simon and Kirby's lead. A special thank you to Jesse Simon of Simon Comics. I'm still Tom Torme, and that was your Cosmic Minute. Until next week, be well and stay safe. Captain America was fighting Nazis before World, before America jumped into World War II. That's just incredible to me. Uh, Chris, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, look, these guys really kind of, uh, again, stepped up to the plate and used comic book art. And not, I mean art in the total art form as a way to say, you know, we have a voice and we're going to we're going to use it. Um, I think it's really interesting for those if you don't really I don't know if a lot of people understand the context of pre-World War II Germany um, and how Adolf Hitler came to power, you know, because after World War One, there was a huge economic recession uh, and the the economy of Germany was in shambles and was crumbling and through a democratic process. Uh, Hitler gained the, uh, you know, a, a positive perception uh, among the German people and, you know, by by speaking their language and, and, and creating this this rhetoric of making Germany, uh, you know, uh, uh, shall I say it, making Germany this great country again of what it once was. <laughs> and, he, and he rose into this this uh, uh, to power through a democratic process. And then from there, you know, he basically took control of the military and, and declared war uh, on his, uh, you know, his, his own people, part of his own people, uh, Europe and eventually the world. And uh, when, when you, when you look at so many um, parallels to similar things that still exist today, um, how, uh, People that get into political positions and political power, uh, political powers, can really utilize uh, fear and uh, prejudice um, and divisive rhetoric uh, to basically, you, you know, uh, create this type of, um, you know, uh, uh, followers mentality. Uh, so it, it, it's it's kind of scary, but it's it's really interesting to look at all those things. So to to, to look at what these young uh, uh, Jewish kids, I, I call them kids because I, I don't know their specific age. I'm assuming they're probably in their young 20s at this time. Um, we're saying like, look, we see what's happening and we're kind of foreshadowing, you, you know, uh, what mm -hmm. can happen. And we need to get involved and say, we're not going to accept this while 
you saw even a large uh, portion of the American population seeing what was going on over there saying, hey, look, this guy, he's, he's really doing something for the economy. He's really speaking our language, but didn't really understand the root of the evil uh, that was going on. So they try to bring it to our attention, uh, you, you know, be, you know, be, before it was realized. Yeah. Before we get too further into this conversation, uh, Tom Tormey, he worked with uh, Jesse Simon, Joe Simon's grandson, did not know that they were related. His link is below. His YouTube link is below. Check him out as well. Uh, yeah, so he helped out with this segment too. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it, it goes without, I mean, it's really impressive that, again, uh, Simon and Kirby um, took a risk because there were Nazi sympathizers before the war started within America, as you saw in Tom's segment. So they took a risk to speak out against, this, against the hatred that the Nazis were bringing to the world. Uh, and, you know, at, at the risk of their own well-being. So it's it really it really is kind of courageous and risky what they did, but they brought out a character that that symbolizes hope uh, for us because we see a lot of hatred, uh, a lot of people sympathizing with a lot of uh, hate groups these days, and we need we need that hope now more than ever. And I'm not getting too deep into politics and stuff like that, but that's that's where we are. Tom is dishing some amazing history knowledge again in the chat here. Comics. Uh, let's just let's just bring it up. Comics were a great weapon against Nazism. FDR was well aware of this. The U.S. federal government spent a lot of money sponsoring comic publishers to put pro-America imagery on the covers. Um, the American Nazis held a massive rally in, uh, in Madison Square Garden, New York City, around the same time Captain America was published. So it's, this is just fascinating. Uh, but it's good to see Captain America became the smash success, and he is a symbol of hope everywhere. 